up everybody welcome back to my channel Catherine Anna so today I wanted to talk with you about um, back pain and things that you can do to alleviate the back pain and uh, some exercises that you can do so I just wanted to start it, start off by saying that when you have back pain it's inflammation and if you've had an injury before obviously it's inflammation but a lot of it has to do with what you're eating so you should be on an anti-inflammatory diet which includes um, foods like cantaloupe and avoiding all your breads your pastas and your rice because they do cause inflammation and eating um, fresh fruits and vegetables um, I think the most important fruit in helping with lower back pain would be pineapple because it is an anti-inflammatory and it's not talked about enough um, and I know people where this actually helped them and alleviated their back pain. Um, sometimes when you go to the gym and then you pull a muscle, um, that can be from your food as well. When you're eating healthy, your um, joints and your muscles and your ligaments are moisturized. Um, they have a lot of fluid going in and out of them and they just function a lot better. We're opposed to like if you work out and you eat like a pizza the day before or you're eating something really unhealthy, um, breads or a lot of dry foods, this is gonna um, this is gonna cause injuries more easily so you have to make sure that your diet is on par and I don't think that this is talked about enough and um, a lot of my clients have alleviated their back pain by changing their diet also a vitamin that you can take is collagen I would recommend avoiding all fish oils because fish oils are rancid and they are not doing what they're supposed to do and I know that some people might say like oh fish oils have helped me but in the long run they're not they are going to cause an issue and also when you take fish oils you're more prone to colds and flus because it is a toxic that you're putting into your body so your body is not going to be able to fight and then your immune system will be weakened the longer that you take a fish oil so collagen would be your number one source for um, your bones and your joints um, now if you are at the gym and you pull a muscle in your back um, you're gonna want to rest your back and not do anything for until your back is healed and um, also if you are starting off at the gym you should never go in and lift heavy weights right away you should always start off with your body weight like if you're doing a squat try not to use any weights for the first like four weeks because um, actually your plan your uh, workout schedule should change every six weeks but I would say four to six weeks just use your body weight until your body gets like strong enough and used to it and then after you're gonna bring in light weight so you're gonna start off with like 10 pounds one week and then another five pounds so each week you're gonna add five pounds five pounds rather than jumping right into it and this is gonna help you um, you know get stronger and then you're not going to get injuries at the gym so when you first start out you can't go all heavy because this takes a long time to build up like for myself when i started off at the gym it took me um i would say like a couple years to build up the strength that i have now so i started off slowly um and then after that like your strength is up and then you know also um your posture and then when your posture is good then you know how to like lift properly and you can activate your muscles and you can engage them better and you know which you can actually isolate muscles too like when your posture is really 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 good then you'll know how to isolate your muscles and activate um, the muscles that you need to activate during your exercise because you're going to be in tuned with your body now if you just have back pain in general um, and you're not exercising I would say to start exercising with your primal movements which would be a squat and a lunge and then I'm going to be showing you exercises that you can also do in your home to strengthen your um, glutes because if you have lower back pain a lot of time it's from uh, weak glutes or hips 
just because sitting all the time or not exercising is going to weaken your muscles. And um, in order to have, like, to sustain your body, you have to, like, have strong core, strong back, strong glutes, strong legs. And when one of these weaken, then you're going to get pain because we're kind of built like a statue, right? And if one thing weakens, it doesn't matter how small it is, it's going to cause an imbalance in the body. Like even for somebody that carries a purse, like for us ladies, or if a man that always carries his wallet in his back pocket, whether it's the left or the right, that body, like whichever side it is, that's going to become weak over time. So you just have to understand your body and listen to your body. So I'm going to show you some exercises that you can do to help with your back pain and strengthen your glutes. And um, if you did have an injury from the gym, you can do these exercises at home, but take your time, go at your own pace and make sure that you're doing stretches, you're taking collagen and you're on an anti-inflammatory diet, which you are avoiding all your breads. I don't care what it is, none of them are good for you. I would save those for a cheat day. Avoid all your rice, all your pasta, and your sugar, because this is gonna cause inflammation. Um, it's kind of similar to fascia, like when you have like your body and there's like inflammation in your body and it's a buildup and you need to like get in there and like get rid of it and break it up. Well, that's what happens when you don't have the proper foods. They cause inflammation and they just kind of like stick in your body and then it causes pain. So you just need to have more pineapple in collagen and bone broth soups. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the exercises that I do. Um, that I do with my clients to help alleviate back pain, okay? Okay, so I'm showing you in the living room uh, what you can do. So you can do this on a chair or on the couch. So you're just gonna put your feet on the couch. Actually, I'm gonna put the camera up a little bit more. There, now you can see. Okay, so this is like a correctional exercise. So you're gonna put your feet on the couch, or if you can't do that, you can put them on the floor like this, and then you're just gonna lift up your glutes, and you're gonna squeeze on the way up, and when you go down, you're not gonna touch the floor. You're just gonna go up and down. You're gonna do 10 reps of these. And then if you feel confident enough, by all means, use a chair or the couch and this will get your glutes even stronger. But if you're just a beginner, you can just do it this way. And then maybe after like four weeks, you're feeling stronger, then you're gonna use a chair or put your feet on the couch. And then again, same concept. You'll just like lift up and then you're not gonna touch the floor when you're going down and you're gonna squeeze your glutes on the way up and then you're gonna go back down. And that's always like 10 to 15. Now another correctional exercise would be your clamshells. So this is gonna strengthen your hips. So basically you put your feet together, the soles of your feet together like this, and then you just lift your leg up, you're not gonna let your leg, your knee touch your other knee. And then you're gonna go down and you're gonna come up and squeeze. And you're gonna do 15 per leg for these. And this also will strengthen um, the glute area and your hips. So just like that. And then you're gonna switch your leg, you would do that on the other leg. And then um, another exercise to alleviate um, any back pain is putting your legs, your knees into your chest. So like this, and then you're gonna rock back and forth. If you have a lacrosse ball, 
you can put it under your back or you can put the knuckles of your hand under here too to break up anything or if you have a foam roller you can use it and this one's really good even in the morning when you first wake up you should be doing this and then you're just gonna rock side to side do this as long as you can or as much time as you have like if you want to do it for 10 minutes you can um twice a day three times a day then you want to put your legs up like this and then you want to rock back and forth like this and then if you're once your back pain um subsides then you should get on a good uh workout plan i'm just gonna put this over here um, and you should incorporate um, your cardio and your strength training into your, like they should be done like um, throughout the week. Like I would say three times a week strength training and then your cardio um, twice a week. You can actually get strength training in four times a week as well. So um, these tips and tricks should help you. Um, I know they helped me and they've helped um, my clients as well, but you should always contact your physician and um, before you start anything and just ask them if it's suitable for you or um, if anti-inflammatory diet would help or make sure it doesn't interact with any other medications that you're taking. But um, these are just tips and tricks that have worked for me and for my clients. So if you want to know anything else, let me know. Um, leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.